Hi, this is Chris. I'm in the parking lot of Whole Foods and happy Monday, uh, ruled by the moon. So this is a wonderful, wonderful day to follow your intuition, do a lot of meditation work, and take it slow. Uh, I'm reminiscing about the days when I wasn't an entrepreneur and I was working for a company and even there <clears throat> I observed that I would go into work and take my time, hit the start button on my computer, get up and go make coffee or tea and then talk to people that, you know, greeting everybody that's coming in from the weekend, hearing about everybody's weekend plan. So in a good probably 40 minutes before I even answered one email. So I do the same thing now as an entrepreneur and even more so. So you get a little behind the scenes look at um, how I do my Monday morning. I don't, unless under very like crazy circumstances, I never see clients anymore on Mondays. I just don't. Um, I give this day to myself to really ground, you know, bringing heaven to earth, really working with the energies of the day to plan my week or even to plan the, the quarter, um, do body movement, take a walk, um, do some writing and journaling, and I do a lot of meditating and get a lot of quiet time. And then we'll stop at the labyrinth on the way to my office so I can show you um, just another potential Monday activity that I spend a half hour, an hour doing each week. See you again soon. So you can see it here. There it is. Yeah, that's kind of a better angle. And what I do is I go to the labyrinth with an intention and a prayer. Um, it's a great place to come when I feel agitated or any sort of, I don't know, like I just need some grounding and centering and not to be um, flustered or worried, anything like that. So I just bring it all here. I've reached the center of the labyrinth. Doing my IMs while I was walking each circuit. It was really fabulous and wonderful. You can see the gorgeous church behind me and um, yeah. So welcome to heaven on earth. Right? This is what it's about. It's all about how we bring forth that divine spark in the world that is us, that we are channeling, that we were born to bring in. So I want to, I'm going to sit down in the center of the labyrinth. And as you can see, the main, this is State Street in Santa Barbara, so this is the main road. And I'm just here. So here we are at Butterfly Beach, my most favorite place to be on earth, just right now. And it's about 10 minutes from my house. Amazingly, there's somebody actually playing around in my usual perch, but we'll um, just walk over there. And uh, it's amazing because I brought my very first, you know, coaching clients and plunge clients here to work. This is the office. It was really nice. Um, however, around like February, we get the rainy season. It's not quite practical anymore. But this is um, just such a beautiful, incredible place. And the energy is really expansive and inviting, calming. All those things that I, I really want to bring into my own work and 
to inform my energy. We have a pod of dolphins. I don't know if you could see them, but I take that as a beautiful sign. Oh, there they are. I see. I wish I had my bathing suit right now. <laughs> I'd be like, okay guys, I'm dropping the camera. I'm going to in the water. Oh my God, it'd be beautiful. Oh, there's one just leapt out of the water. I hope you saw that. Oh my God. You can't ask for anything better than this. It's beautiful. So this is a very father sky, mother ocean kind of office. Look at the beautiful teal drapes. Thank you so much for making this journey with me this next five days of bringing heaven to earth. Four more days to go. You're welcome to join in with us if you like. You can find me on Facebook. I'm Chris Oster. And um, I guess I'm going to ask you, how do you bring heaven to earth? Feel free to answer in the comments below, down here. And um, even better, if you want, make your own video all about how you bring heaven to earth. Namaste.